Alright, back to Vatsal Blade. Let me uh, turn that down just slightly. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Holy Bowl. Do, do, do. Wrong button. Oops, wrong button. Oh, by the way, in the last episode of this, uh, we just did, like, a couple quests. So, we didn't really do a, a, uh, a whole lot. So. Uh, we need more sword points to get our, uh, next blade upgrade. Pretty sure. Let me actually check and see what my next blade upgrade is. Um... I'm pretty sure I... Isn't it... Yeah, it's, it's, it's gotta be 60. And how you get that is, uh... Level ups. So... Your friend Proboss has joined. What's up, Proboss? Well, that server just filled up quick. Okay, let me actually check this really quick. Um, so True Blade, that, that's my current one, I think. No, that's, no, they're both hurt that way, hold on. Which is, what is this, actually? Oh, it's like a great sword. Ooh. And it's it's got apparently more holy damage. I guess I can I can uh, go with this. Yeah, damage type holy one. Yeah, well with this one it's uh, just point seven. Yeah, this is a better one. Um, how I upgraded it was sixty, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so we need more soul points. Fair enough. Oops. Um. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Only one braille. Yep. You know, I wish they had in this game a targeting, uh, targeting system. Well, of course there is shift lock. Well, which is also uh. My, what is my shift log, actually? I need to look at that. Uh, it's definitely not that. Is it enter? Tab, sorry. Tab, nope. Uh, is it control? Ah, it's control. Control lock. There we go. That's what I need. Helps me aim better. Let me actually look at uh, my armors really quick. Let me actually get this particular armor. Let me, how, let me see how strong I'm, I'm, I am right now with the full set. Okay, not bad. Thanks for the heal. That's a good spell. I gotta, I gotta get that. Oops. How'd I, how'd I miss that? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna do probably a little bit more quests, maybe some mobbing. We could do some mobbing really quick. Let me actually see if, uh, actually see if the uh, void rift is uh, set. I might be able to actually do it. Also, I'm pretty sure I, I can revive my uh, hex build. It's just going to take me a while. No, it's not completely irreparable. I have the weapons, it's just I went into the, the wrong uh, clan or whatever. 
I was supposed to go into either the magic one or um, there's actually a hex one. There's a um, it's the one in the uh, the void or whatever. That's the hex one, which is also quite solid. That's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, upgrade. Uh, which doesn't cost very much. It doesn't really matter. We'll just upgrade the. Actually, we'll upgrade one line. We'll do, uh, not this. Holy, I guess. Whatever. This one. There you go. Get that delicious experience. Hello, Philly, holy man. Oops. Hello, Philly, holy, fellow holy man. That's really funny. Can't get that. Is he following me? Oh, I thought he was. I'll turn off the chat for now. <sighs> There'll be some Andron Saga tonight, so. I'm just checking if the traveling guy is there. now. or it's Snailsman. Yeah, he's not. He's not there. Let's just see if we can do this Void Rift. And obviously I went into the uh, correct uh, guild for this. I went into the uh, the church one. Uh, because that gives you like holy stuff. So it really works well. It's kind of funny. Uh, my hex build, I my uh, my rep is like, I think it's like negative like 30 something. And on this it's plus 20. I love that. the polar opposites. You know, eventually this build's gonna be stronger than my, uh, my, uh, whatever. The, uh, hex build. Yeah. You don't have any time to guard for that. It's unpredictable. So tanky. Oops. Oops. Okay, apparently that broke my guard. <laughs> my gosh, so much health. You know, not ready for this void raft I have no clue. There we go. That took way too long. A mess. There we go. That heals a decent amount, actually. Also, I see how uh, I see that they've uh, updated the HP bar. I like that. I like how it gives the number and not just a green bar. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice add-on. Also, as far as I know, they're going to be adding a dungeon to this. It's uh, or a new dungeon. It's going to be in the uh, the tundra or whatever, or the icy plateau, which is a, a very annoying area. Um, and it's most likely going to be level sixty. So. There's a spider on my wall. Anyways. Okay. 
Alright, we'll just attempt this. Just so we don't get destroyed. Actually, I'm willing to wait here a minute. I want to make sure I have a backup heal just in case I get absolutely demolished. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm even strong enough for this. But we'll see what happens. Let me actually get my roll really quick. Uh, no. Actually, Fireball could be useful. Nah, I prefer the roll. Roll. And I don't have the Holy Ring, although that would be nice. Okay, that should be good. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, not too bad. Okay. Come on, swing your sword. Thank you. Alright, there we go. That was actually quite a bit easier than I thought that was going to be. Alright, sweet. Unreal. Become even stronger. And now I have the teleport. Very useful. Wait, I thought the teleport was in, uh... Second Rift. I guess they changed that. I, I thought it was Second Rift. If they change it to First Rift, that's awesome. Because, uh... Th yeah, that's a great add-on. Because I hate having a grind until, like, almost level 30 to, like, beat the, the second rift. That second rift is not easy. Yeah, that, that was actually easier than I thought that was going to be. I remember having a hard time on my Hex character. Me being, like, level 25 and I still couldn't even get to the third wave. Of course, I'm much better at the game now, so... I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put on the bunny armor. There we go. Okay, now we got to get levels. That was an oopsie. What do we need for the the holy ring anyways? Yeah, let me, let me look at the crafting really quick and I'm going to see uh, what I need for that. Other than, of course, crafting levels. Actually, isn't there like a like a thing back here? Yeah, there's a secret area. You can get a special armor back here. Yeah, you can get that. Um, the purified debuffs. Yeah, you can get a unique armor in here. It's the uh, the pirate one. Really, really good if you're doing a, a water element build. Where's the other? Oh, it is. Pretty cool little area. If you're wondering what my least favorite area in the game is, uh, Deadlands. That that's. 
Yeah, like hands down. No, I hate the dead ones. The only area that comes close to that is the icy tundra, or the icy plateau, or whatever it is. It's just as annoying. Although the enemies there aren't really all that strong, uh, Deadlands have extremely powerful enemies. So, like even with my my level forty character, I'm still struggling in there. I kill one enemy and I already need to heal. And the thing with my hex build is I don't have the glory of a healing spell, so. Or, or at least, like, I, I have just a very, very weak healing spell. I think it only restores, like, 10 HP. Which is, I, I guess, better than nothing, but it's still not that great. What do you say? Oh. Last time I actually played this, by the way, I was uh, playing with some people uh, in the official Discord server of uh, Voxel Blade. So, no, th there's people on there like every day. Now I was just giving some tips and stuff. It was mainly with my hex build because I did the wrong guild. So. I hate these darn things. Let's no, screw this. Attacking through walls, wall hacks. Oh my gosh, dude. I love how I guarded that and it still hit me. Or it still did 10 damage. Dude, what is it? Unguardable? That's crap. It legit is unguardable. Yet you're able to literally guard a, a titan or like a like a like a yeti stomping on your face. <laughs> you're able to guard that, but you can't guard a Gostar and magic like magical beam. That doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, by the way, that buff I believe was more holy damage. Either or it's uh, purified or something like that. Actually, let me let me kill this guy and I'm going to see what that is. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a holy bonus. That lasts for like 20 seconds. Which is pretty good. It's pretty good for boss fights. Wow, he did a lot of damage. Well, yet again, I don't have very good armor. Well, th this is bunny armor, what I'm using, so. Oh, little monster. Oh, sweet. Uh, I think I need that for, like, a quest. This thing's probably gonna darn one-shot me. Okay, let's just do this. Yeah, I didn't get cred. I already knew I'd, I wouldn't. Just help him out. Beep beep. 
so we need to get another level. Where's the bar or whatever? Let me actually look, look for this. I need a map or something. I literally guarded there, but okay, game. Okay, where's my darn holy armor? Control, there we go. I got almost no experience for that. Okay, we're just gonna stay with this armor for now. For extra damage. And to think, the DPS of this character is about as, about as high as my of my Hex character. Yet he's not even half the level. It's kind of funny. Now my Hex character isn't really doing a whole lot. Like even with the tentacles, he's only getting about 60. Like I said, my Hex character isn't really all that powerful. Uh, sure. Yeah, poison potion, that's easy. And that's the Lilla Monster. So I'm gonna go craft that poison potion again. Although I'm pretty sure I need stuff from, uh, uh, the King Toad Dungeon, but let me check. I'm just ignoring it. Yo, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna look at this. Um, well, obviously levels. Okay, what do I need for poison? Rage potions are awesome, by the way. Oh yeah, there's the holy ring. I need. Cleansing too. Oh, I forgot where you get that. Emerald, you get you, any type of gem, you get those in uh, the Tone Dungeon or any dungeon. Usually is a boss drop. That's the Binding Orb. I have, a, I have a couple of those. Yeah, Poison Potion, there it is. I gotta get Pollen, Shield Metal, and Wolf for Okay. Um, the wolf I can easily get, the pollen I can probably also get, the shield metal, uh, that's unreachable, that's, uh, croaker nuts. Uh, that's air, let me actually look and see if there's any holy armor in here. And if there is, I actually want to see, um, what it is. Oh, there's a bro. You need brilliant dust. Heal rune. That's a weak heal. It's kind of cool. Refined core. Rune of cleansing. Thorn maiden. Oh, a croconaut rune. That's kind of cool. A scow marauder. There's actually there's some new stuff in here. From the look of it. Spell Slinger. I, I think I've already seen that one. That is a, a, supposed to be a pretty good armor, though. You need the Gunslinger stuff. 
deep steel, lodestone, uh, the shadow dweller, steam mage, lord dung, <laughs> what a name, uh, deep crystal, that looks cool, it's, oh it's water, okay, mad mage, mad rage, Ma mage rage, I love it, mage rage, Nectar Knight. Is there no uh, holy armor in here? What is this? Astral Present. Oh, yeah. That's uh, how you get brills and stuff. Yeah, brilliant present. Okay. I don't know uh, what kind of holy armor I need to get. Because it doesn't look like there is one in here. Uh, and it turns out the, uh, <laughs> oh, hold up. The, what? um, poison potion, I need to go into the, uh, toad dungeon. So. Yeah, sure, craft that, I guess. What is that? Perky Paris? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Get some levels. I guess we'll try and get to level, uh, 19 really quick. I guess I'm going to off after that. Yeah, sure. What is that? Toad Zerkers? Ah, oh, that's easy. I don't have to kill. Looks like five. They're pretty common enemies, so I don't mind. Numerous. Let me just say, this is pretty strong for like not even level 20, so. The holy element is very, very powerful in this game. The weakest is, of course, uh, to be honest, I'd say the weakest is probably, uh, um, definitely not Earth. Earth is insane. Um, maybe water? Or maybe fire? One of those. Holy is insane. Uh, Hex is also ridiculous. Actually, Hex can be uh, considered almost broken. With, with the right build, it's insane. Like, you get ridiculous DPS. Um, if you use the, uh, if you go the Elf Race with the, uh, I believe the Magic Guild, um, basically you can spam that, uh, Magic Tentacle. It basically has almost no cooldown. You can spam that darn thing and you can get tons of DPS. Which that sounds like a lot of fun. Not gonna lie. That's where that, uh, I, I think that's the Void Riff. Oh no, it isn't. No, this is just a random dude. The mud. It's not just mud, it's the mud. Hi, fam. He got in my range. Let's do this. I wish the heal didn't have such a long cooldown. dead right now. 
Yeah, there's the last one right there. Let me just heal really quick. Destroyed. Level 19. Oh, I gotta be level 20. That's why. Okay. We might be able to get 20. I gotta get the little monster meat, which is uh, luck based. It's a luck based drop. So. Because sometimes you you get the uh, you get its armor, which isn't really all that good. So it looks cool, but it's not that good. Even stronger. Wish there was a good experience farm, but there isn't. Now, the best experience for him is the dungeons. But once you get to, like, level 40 or whatever, uh, basically, leveling up is extremely difficult. Because each run, uh, from out of the, the toad dungeon with my, uh, my level 40 character, I'm gonna, like, maybe a fourth of a level. Each time I go through there. Yeah, I don't really get a whole lot. Which kind of sucks. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is where you get the cleansing tears. Uh, yeah, right there. That's where you get them. Actually, let me grab one really quick. Just so I can get it out of the way. We're definitely going to need that holy ring. Let's see, if, am I close to actually doing the, this? Not even close. You gotta get some strong healing spells, that's for darn sure. You yeah, gotta just s sit in one spot and just spam this darn thing. Because you in mind, I'm healing like not like barely 20 and I need to heal I think what 700 that's that's quite a lot all right oops oops come on I love how that guy just ran in I guess I knew I could see really. Oh, jeez. The snailsman. I want to see where he is. He's over here. Uh, is this holy? Well, there is. The Queen Bumbles. Uh, yeah, it, it does have a holy boost. I can very well grab that. Is that better than the one I have? 
really darn expensive. Jeez. I've heard that the Stardust stuff is also really good, too. Like, really, really good. It's got really, uh... Well, basically, uh... You can get a special staff or whatever. And it... Basically, uh... Your DPS is insane. When using that darn thing. You can, you can solo, like, uh... Like a, a corrupt uh, level two uh, toe dungeon with that. So, what, what is my holding? Fifteen. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. I'll, I'll I'll grab this though. I'll grab the Stardust just in case I want to swap over to that. If I do uh, eventually get that weapon or the hilt or whatever or the blade, whatever it is. That actually allows you to do that. Yeah, there's there's a special guild that you have to go in. I, I don't know how you're supposed to do that build. We can go to, uh, uh, the, uh, Bunny Prince area. Yeah, we can go there. Or, uh, Hair Layer. Yeah, we can go there really quick. It's actually pretty good, uh, I would say it's kind of an experience farm early on, so we can go there. By the way, if you're wondering, uh, am I going to come back to uh, Doodle World? Most likely, yes. Um, I'm kind of waiting until both parts of the Ice City comes uh, comes out. There's only part one. I'm going to wait until both parts come out, and then I'll uh, I'll come back. Kind of almost the same thing that I did with uh, Lumia Legacy. I, I didn't come back until the entirety of Atlantean City actually uh, came out. And now they're struggling with par player base again. So. Well, yeah, because they don't do any story updates. They just stall out, like, everything just for the darn events, which I could care less about. That's why I stopped playing. Do the events, they were... It was almost nothing. You... You get maybe one new Lumion, and like the rest were just reskins. So. <clears throat> I, like at one point I actually uh, or still do new uh, do now. I actually want to design my own, uh, my own Roblox game. The only problem is I'm going to have to figure out, like, the complexity of it. It actually is sli slightly complex, so, to make, you know, good stuff, or a good game. And you also need a lot of motivation, so. Yeah, what I actually, what I want to do with mine, um, with the game, like kind of, uh, what I want to do with it is a, uh, both a creature capturing game and an RPG game. So, like, similar to, like, I don't know, like, Digimon. Or Pokemon, or anything like that. And actually, to have players come back, 
uh, to the game, there will be multiple paths. So, like, in, like, the character select or whatever, like, in the, like, the first part, you can select, like, I don't know, like, let's say four characters. Each character has their own route. That's how you keep uh, people in your game. Replayability. That's the reason why like games like Blocks Roots and stuff like that has has a stable player base because there's quite a lot of replayability in the game, and it's also darn addicting. Oh yeah, that, that game is extremely addicting. I haven't played it in a little while though. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm gonna end this off in just a second. I need more sword points. I'm actually almost there. I'm at 52. I need 60. And then I'm gonna look up and see uh, what swords or uh, hilt I actually want. Just so I know what, what to go for. Because I have a feeling with the sword, I'll be able to get a really cool ability. I've seen just what the holy builds can do, and it's kind of insane what they can do. So. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me go to the sword train really quick and let me actually see what kind of abilities I have. And I'm end it off. I'll get to probably 20 off screen or something like that because leveling is so oh, darn slow. I guess what? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill this thing. Where, where are you? There you are. Ow. Aimbot. Unguardable attack. I can guard a, a, a giant stomping on my head, but I can't guard a, a magical beam. Jeez. Okay, let me look at this. There's a lesser heal. There's a holy shrine. What is this? Holy energy from a character that heals allies and deals slight holy damage. I'm going to have to look at that. What is this? That seems like a good ability. Okay, let me look at this. This. Oh, it's that one. Yeah, that's a really good one. Sweet. I did not know I unlocked that. Alright, sweet. That's nice early on. That's a mount. That's almost... That's, uh... Some people say it's it, almost a pay-to-win thing. Uh, yeah, you have to you have to pay for those. Yeah, you have to pay real money to get those mounts. Otherwise, everyone would have them. So, yeah, yeah, you have to pay for those those mounts, which is unfortunate because oh man, would it make travel so much easier. Instead of running around on foot with bunny armor. Okay, well. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, not too bad. We got a bunch of levels. Um, and we, we cleared a few quests. We also did the Void Rift, which was very easy. 
So, yeah. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video, which will be in about uh, a half hour or hour, somewhere around there. And uh, it will be Andron Saga, and we'll see what Chapter 10 has uh, has to offer. Um, it looks difficult, and the objective's kind of insane, so but we'll see what happens. Also, there is a recruitable, hopefully. There's a knight. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.